Welcome everyone, so good to see you. Welcome to the HEAT series, Arm, Biceps and Triceps. This is your day one. My name is Kate, so we're going to start right away with our fit form for this workout. Ready? Let's go for the warm up. You're going to start first of all focusing on your cervical. You get to circle the neck, gently go in one direction there. And then go on the other side. Take your time there to just relaxing your cervical muscle. Going side to side, moving your head, going toward your shoulder. Make sure you relax the shoulder, don't lift it up. Two, one, and rest. Going to focus on the arms, you're going to cross your arms against your chest, pressing deeply at the elbow level and press and hold it there. Then gently you're going to twist looking back, thoracic rocking way back behind you. And then go on the other side, relax your arms. Go on the other side, pressing at your shoulder, elbow, and twist, look back. So good for your spine and your hips, and gently bring yourself up. Going to focus it now, we are circling your arms, shoulder. Remember, we are working on your bicep and triceps. Even if it's the arms, we still need to really relax in all the body. And go on the other side, good. Two, one, and relax. Bring your hands to your hips and move side to side. Here we go. Hips rotation and then circle to the side. One direction. Ooh, the back hurt. And then go on the other side. So good. Waking up those body. Two, one. Good. Going to bring your hands to the side. Reach on as much as you can below the knee and go on the other side, crunching. Open up the chest, okay? Don't bring yourself forward. Push your chest up and back. There you go. Swing and twist and shift. And bring it down and down. For two, one, and stand up. Now focusing on your our legs, we're going to bring your knee up. Interlace the fingers, left the knee up to your chest, working on your balance there. Circle the ankle. Remember, it's not about the only arms. We, we, we're taking care of all the body, all the muscle. Good, gently drop your hands down, knee to your knees, push your hips forward, relaxing the quads, keep your straight, your arm, your body straight. And then gently let it go. Let's do on the left side, left knee up, chest up, and circle the ankle. Very good, and reverse. Like this, gently drop your left hands on your ankle, both knee together, squeeze and hold it tight. There we go, two, one, and let it go. Shake your arms, and then ready to go. Okay, so we're going to grab the ankle. So we're going to show you there will be eight minutes for the first block. Three exercises for the strengths, two exercises for your cardio. There will be three exercises and then we're going to do one cardio and we're going to repeat the same exercise and do a different cardio. So that will be in total of eight minutes. Good counting. So we're going to start with the first one, bicep curl. So that will be your first exercise, bicep curl. Make sure you bring your elbow close to your rib cage. And then next one, you're going to do arm raise uh, extension. So you're going to bring your arms to the side, parallel to the floor at the shoulder level. So that will be your arm horizontal raise extension. Our next one will be the chest press. Oh, sorry. You're going to bring your arms forward and pull your elbow way back. Extend your arms parallel to the floor, pull the elbow, and as much a little bit farther back to the elbow to the shoulder. And gently let it go. Our two cardio will be a surprise, so I will let you know what it is. You're going for a jumping jack. And then the next one will be the fast feet and burpees. Bring yourself on the floor, high plank, bring yourself up and back to the fast feet. Okay, ready for it? You know what to do, so let's go grab the handle and make sure you bend your knees. Bicep curl, here we are. Gently bringing up, elbow close to the rib cage. I love to slightly bend your knees so you don't give too much pressure on your arm strength and your quads. So slightly bend, squeeze your glute, engage your abs and bring the handle close to the shoulder. There you go, like this. So good for the biceps. First muscle of the day. Good. Every exercise will be 40 seconds and you have only 10 seconds to rest and go to the next one. Good. We have five seconds there. Good going, good going. In two, 
one and gently rest awesome next one remember arm raised to the side ready for it two one rise your arms parallel to the floor gently open up same posture you have for the bicep curl is the same for this one nothing change and if it's so hard for you to do both arms do one arms at a time alternate take your time good gently open up such a good workout it's not only the tri the the triceps you're working on this one is as well the shoulder uh, and as well the deltoid so make sure you just open up so there's a little bit different muscle is working there Ali, open and bring it down we have 15 seconds I know it's long but it's good you're starting to feel it I do come on last five seconds stay with me and two and one and rest shake a little bit okay I know it hurts so next one as you remember maybe you don't arms rise forward and push the elbow back bend the elbow 90 degrees chest press ready let's go push back extend push back and push back so with this posture what's happening there's no much like lifting pulling it's really keeping your arms parallel to the floor holding Benji like holding the posture and walking forward and backward. Make sure your elbow is 90 degrees at the shoulder level. There you go. Extend, push back. And again, you can do one at a time if it's better for you. Okay? Whatever works, as long as you don't drop your hand. Come on, last 10. Good job. Feeling it already. Woohoo! Last five. Burning two. One, ah, loving it. You're going to hook your handle there and we're going for the cardio. Remember, it will be the dropping jack. Open your arms in and out with your arms up. Ready, two, one, in and out. You can stay on your feet from base if you want. And you can put yourself on the floor. Hands up, in and out. Option, modification, one foot at a time. But keep the movement, come going, don't stop. Okay, tap to the side whatever works for you but keep the dynamic this is a cardio moment let's go in and out in and out good job Ali, relax take this index exercise for relaxing the shoulder this is what's happening there bringing up and down just feeling good there i can tell you i love it <laughs> okay come on let's keep going last five two one and rest. Woo! Heartbeat's going high. Love it. Okay, so we know we're going to repeat the same thing. Go back to the bicep curl. Same distance, hip distance. Bring your hands up and bring it down. Good. For this is your day one, okay? So remember, go slow. If you want to work on your, on your practice of being, building strengths, go slow and increase your frequency all the time gently so don't go like way high 10 is like oh i can no need it just go slow and slowly you need to listen to yourself and see how the body reacts yes there you go we have 15 seconds this is your last time with the bicep curl come on bring it up and way down last 10 oh yes starting to feel did you see this muscle burning coming out that's what you would get in two, one, and shake it. Okay, so we're going to extend the arms to the side. Arm horizontal extension. Ready? Two, one, go. Gently. Yes. Bring in high. Palm facing down. Everything is engaged. Your glute, your abs, core strength. You can feel, slightly bend your knees. So your quads as well. So the body is very active. No matter what, if you work on your arms, all the single muscles in your body are active. So keep it there. Be strong. And then left up. Woo. I know you will love the day one. Arms. <laughs> it's the best. You're going to carry everything you want after that. Let's go. Last five seconds. You see it's going fast. You don't even feel it. Two, 
one and relax good job our last one chest press so as I said this one is all about holding this posture lift the elbow high that's all you're going to do and push the elbow back there you go extend pull back extend forward pull back there you go there's no that much much movement with the cable it's just holding the cable high and when you're going to move a little bit bring more frequency to it you're going to find your arms like shaking and trying to hold it as hard as you can that's what's going to happen so it doesn't sound hard until you put a little bit of resistance to it and then come on last 20 seconds and then pull back extend pull back Woo! last 10 we almost at the end last five push the elbow way back two one and rest oh, I don't want to see you again okay our last cardio for this block will be the fast feet with the burpees you can bring yourself to the side if you can bring yourself on the behind the blocks and you tap let's go fast feet tap 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 when I say go you go down two one go burpees you can go for a high plank and jump high let's go tap 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 burpees Woo. energy tap shake it shake it shake it and down oh yeah I oh, love it so good for the arms and down for oh, you think I was forget it let's go come on and tap and tap and tap and shake the body and down bring yourself down burpees last 10 not there come on let's stay stay two one down for three two one rest voila good job <laughs> okay so as we know we're going to do have a block two make sure you take a sip of water you deserve it after that i definitely deserve it block two so we're going to show you the exercise going to grab both or you can just have one so the first one you get to slightly bend your knees and be in the rowing put your elbow back bring your hands close to your uh, your chest and pull back and extend one arm row next one you going to turn your palm facing down and bring your arms up reverse your grip curls bicep curls lift up as high as you can and bring it down reverse your grip bicep curl last one going to bring your elbow close to your cage and tricep kick back kick your arms way back and back keep the elbow bend and reach your arms way back palm facing up to the ceiling okay and then last one two exercises this is your three exercise we go in for the high knees high knees high knees high knees and your next one squat in and out touch the floor in and out okay let's do this reach out to your ankle let's go for the roll bend your knee and pull and pull stay there gently you just need one it's enough sometimes you can bring both together but on this one as we're going to use both stay one one and all with one cable each let's go and pull make sure you push your inch your hips back make sure you have a flat back press the floor with your heel so hold your weight is on your heel not on your toes and pull your elbow back last five seconds awesome job last two but one and stand up okay 10 second rest let's go back for the reverse your grip bicep curl two one lift up and bring it down lift up you see how uh, you can observe the elbow is close to my rib cage. It's like I'm hurting myself. Say, oh, cannot go anywhere. And then I bring my arms up close to my shoulder and bring it down, way down. Left up and left up. Yes, base of my body, you can see which muscle is working, right? That biceps, because there's a bicep curl. Hello, hard to say. Okay, keep going, you're doing great. I'm with you. Ali, hold it and pull up. And we can down. Last 10 seconds for this one. You absolutely great. Stay there, stay there. Almost there. Two, 
one, and gently relax your arms. Woo! I love this one because it's always the same posture. You don't have, it's only the arms are working. Okay, keep the squat a little bit, and you're going to keep your elbow back, and tricep kick, and tricep kick. Go using both arms, pull back. And if you want to do one arms as well, maybe you focus on the left side only. So go on the left side. And as you know, we're going to repeat this time two times, you can go on the right side, okay? So whatever you, works for you, as long as you don't stop. And push back, palm facing up, reach back, and reach back. We have 20 seconds there. And pull a little bit more. And you can start slow with your resistance and see how hard you can go, okay? So if it's too much for five, drop it to four, to three, whatever works for you. Last two, last one, and gently relax. Down there. High knees. I know everybody don't like it, this one, but it's good. Ready? Two, one, knee up, knee up, knee up. Option to do one knee at a time, hoping knee up to the waist level, okay? As how you can go a little bit higher, or you can jump in. faster, faster. Make sure you lean back, you don't stay there, or you just do with this. The knees low, bring in high energy. Are they, come on, knee up, knee up. Come on, come on. We have what? 20 seconds. Oh my God, I cannot anymore, okay? Yes, you can, because I can do it with you. It's so good. Ali, come on, 15 seconds. Knee up, knee up. Relax your arms. This is the time to just like really let it go. Okay, come on, five seconds. Do you see how fast it's going? Two, one, time. That was just the cardio. Okay, back to the babies. We're going for the row again on the other side. Then. And you're going to pull, pull back. One arms. Keep the left arm straight. Don't do anything. Just focusing on your right side now, and pull back. The elbow is a little bit further back, for the side of your body. So really, pull as far as you can. Extend, pull. Don't drop your shoulder too forward. Forward. Keep it perfectly neutral, and pull. Good. Such a good one for the triceps. And come on. Yes, I feel it. Oh, just a day one. Just 20 minutes for the arms. That's all. <laughs> and stay with me. Last two, last one. And gently stand up and relax. Good. Remember, reverse your grip for the bicep curl. Let's go, two, one, both arms up, and bring it down. Reach up. Okay, your palm facing forward, not facing your face. So turn it, good. Keep the elbow close to the rib cage, squeezing, hugging yourself, good. Activate your quads, activate your glute, your baby butt. Okay, be tight. Core strength, everything is so tight. Woo! How do you feel today? Good? Me too. Yeah, I like this. Do you like the arm work? I want to see you 10 days from now. You say, oh, thank you, Kate. That was amazing. Look at my arms. That's what you're going to get. Last two, <laughs> one, and gently relax. Okay, our last one for the arms. This is it. We're going to do the tricep kick back. Ready? Elbow bend and push back. And relax. Push back. And push back. So never extend your arms forward. Keep the elbow close to the rib cage. And just kick your forearms back. There you go. Palm facing back. Palm facing back. Yes. Keep the back flat. Don't pull and curve in your back. Okay, so keep it black, as flat as you can. And push. Oh, you should feel the muscle close to your, your body on the side. Ooh, that's the muscle, is activation is happening there. Ale, come on. Pull, this is happening. Last five, almost there. Ali, come on. Two, 
one, and rest. Woo! That was absolutely gorgeous. Okay, our last cardio will be the squat in and out. Touch the floor, open the legs. Ready? Two, one, in and out. Drop it. Bring feet together, open up and touch the floor with your fingers. Push your hips way down. Good. And again, if you don't feel comfortable to be staying on the base, bring yourself on the floor and do this cardio workout. Okay, this is an easy one. You can go a little bit wider. More you go wide, more you can drop your hips a little bit further down. Ale, let's go. Last 20 seconds. Ali, almost there. Good, touch, touch. Yes, it's almost there. Woo! Last five seconds. Two, one, and time. Oh, so good. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of a stretch very quick. We're going to cross your arms as we did in the morning, uh, at the beginning, just relaxing. Good job today. <sighs> Take some time to breathe. Left arms up, bend the elbow, reach way back. <sighs> How do you feel? Feeling good? I know, I can feel my triceps, I can feel my biceps burning. Yes. And again, I didn't put too much frequency resistance to it. It's almost good as it could be. And gently relax. Circle the neck one more time. Good. And reverse. Good job there. Interlace your fingers. Extend your arms. Push your hips back. Relax your heads between your arms. And pull and pull and pull. Lift yourself up. Bring your hands behind your back. Turn your palm. Push your hips forward. Relax your head. So good. Keep your spine straight and with your arms up as much as you can. Left up, left up, left up, left up. And relax. Shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And good job. Congratulate yourself. You did the day one of the arms, triceps, and biceps. So we're going for the day one, day two, which I would love you to follow after this one. We'll be focusing on the quadriceps and the glutes. So that means the lower part of your body, okay? So you did amazing. Remember, you can go back to this exercise every week or you can increase the resistance to make it a little bit challenging for yourself. Listening to what you can start and then grow, grow, grow as hard as you feel. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.